And then in Proverbs 3.15, God said my worth was more than rubies. <laughs> so why would I let a crusty, dusty man tell me what I'm worth? Like, clock it and go sit down immediately. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hey girl or boy, we do not discriminate this way. But oh my gosh, it has been a minute. It feels so good to like be sitting here in front of the camera filming. And we're back and we're better with another video. I took over a year off and cut you girl some slack. Tell a friend to tell a friend. She's back. Have you guys seen that? Okay, I just had to get that out of the way. Okay guys, so on a more serious note, the topic for today is very dear to my heart and I definitely have struggled with knowing my worth and my past, knowing your worth, and there really is danger attached to not knowing your worth, which I didn't know. I thought it was harmless, like who cares if I don't know my worth? Like obviously it's not good, but I didn't know that so much could happen to you and your life trajectory could change so much if you don't know your worth or if you're not standing on business and if you know your worth but you're not standing on business and letting other people know that you know what your price is they're gonna walk all over you discount you put you on sale 50 percent off a dollar off buy one get one free grandma like it's not gonna be a good time for you. If you're anything like I was, I thought it was harmless, like if I don't know my worth, kind of who cares kind of thing. Obviously, you would want to ideally know your worth. If you really don't believe in yourself and believe that you're capable of achieving whatever it is in your heart that you really wanna achieve, even if anyone else, everyone else could be telling you like, oh, you're so good for this, oh, you should do this, like, you're not going to see it, you're not going to believe it until you know for a fact and you just exude that confidence and you just know. And it's not enough to know your worth, you kind of have to put a little extra oomph in it and let other people know your worth. Because if some people don't know it, they're going to try to bargain with you and see what it is exactly that you will put up with and tolerate. So not knowing your worth can look like a lot of different things. Not knowing your worth can look like you just accepting any kind of treatment because you ultimately don't know what you deserve or you feel like that is what you deserve or sometimes for me personally i knew my worth and then i met someone and at the end of the day you think you know your worth until you find yourself allowing certain things to happen to you that you didn't ever think that you would allow you allow people to speak to you in ways that you never thought you would allow people to speak to you everyone's worth is invaluable in case you're wondering like everybody on this earth is a very 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 valuable person you are a very very valuable person and your worth is up here you can't even see it in the clip because it's so high like your worth is substantial and nobody could ever put a price tag on what you were worth and i just wanted to get that out of the way and say that now in case nobody told you that today you matter you're powerful you're beautiful and you're very 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 worthy of life amen clock it so it's not enough to just know that you're worthy and the, honestly, the danger doesn't even come in not knowing your worth. The real danger comes in when other people want to come into your life and see that they can't afford you and try to figure out how they can get a discount today. Like, say you're working at a job and this job is disrespecting you, but everyone starts off kind of like clay. Like you start off with any person, any job, any business, anything that you're doing, you start off moldable in people's minds. Like when you meet someone for the first time, you have no clue who you, I don't know you from a can of paint. Like I don't know you at all. But when people start to try those little things with you or push little buttons or try little boundary testers and you don't know how to set those correct boundaries, then that's when you find yourself getting stepped on repeatedly over and over again. And now people in your head, 
since they can mold you any kind of way, they've now molded you as like maybe a people pleaser or maybe someone that doesn't stand up for themselves or maybe someone that just will allow someone to talk to them any kind of way or do them any kind of way when really in reality, we all I think subconsciously know that we don't deserve that, but if you're allowing it to happen, it may be because you genuinely don't know how to either stand up for yourself or because some people do think that that's what they deserve and that is sad, but it's the reality of the whole situation at the end of the day. When you're meeting people, when you're going into new opportunities, when you're going into new things, it's really important to set your boundaries really head on because the people that don't want to respect that, the people that don't want anything to do with someone that does stand on business, they will find the exit quickly, fast, and in a hurry. But the people that respect people and the people that also like know their worth and know other people's worth and try to like, you know, keep it cute, they they will respect you for that. And I think that's what's important at the end of the day. If you don't know your worth and you're just letting other people define your worth, that's never where you want to be. You never want to be in a position where you're letting anybody define anything about you because it's like looking in a broken mirror. You'll never you'll never know. You'll you'll see in life what you see in yourself. So if you see yourself as broken or you see yourself as as less than that's the type of people that you're going to attract into your life those are the people that are going to come into your life and they will treat you how you see yourself and the people that treat you good the people that do want to see you in are the genuine friendships or genuine relationships or genuine business job opportunities you'll look at those as either like a scam or fake or you'll just blatantly not be interested even though it's something that you definitely should be or you definitely do deserve and at the end of the day that's that's what not knowing your worth will do to you. It'll have you questioning why good things are happening happening to you. It'll have you it'll have you like being and having an unsecure attachment style, either anxious or avoidant. It can show up in your life in a lot of ways, but I just want to touch on the ways that it affected me in my life because I can only speak from personal experience and kind of ways that I learned how to define my worth and how I got out of that little rut because it really can hold you back in life in general. You may think that it's just like, oh, like, it's not really a big deal. It's something I'll just figure out later. Like, you know, like, you need, to, you need to figure that out, baby, before somebody else figures it out for you. And that's really what the topic of this video is about because it's not enough to just know your worth. You kind of have to stand on business and let other people know or you will find yourself being marked down 50% off. People will treat you any kind of way and that's just not what we want. First and foremost, I just want to say this. Other people not knowing your worth or other people like dragging you down because you're not able to set that standard for yourself is not a reflection on you. It's more so a reflection on that person because let's say let's say you go into Prada or you go into Gucci or something like a nice high-end store and you go in and they're like I don't know how much our Prada bags are gonna be today because like um I just like heard people saying that like Prada's ugly and now like I just like don't know what we should sell it for like I just <laughs> I don't know and you go in there with $15 in your pocket and you say I'll take that bag off your hands for five <laughs> And Prada's like, okay, like if you think it's really worth the five dollars, like just take it, just take it. Now you're walking around with a brand new Prada bag that was only five dollars. You're probably feeling pretty good about yourself right now, but not Prada. Prada's down the dumps. And that's the exact analogy when someone walks into your life and sees all the good things that you have to offer because we all have really good qualities that we have to offer the world, whether like you're really nice, you're a giving person, you're smart, you're helpful, like things like that and people want to come in and see that you're not gonna require anything in exchange for that and now you're feeling empty and other people are walking around full they're living their best life you might even get resentful like how how could they do that to me and really people only do what you allow them to do so while it is on them partially it's on you not knowing your worth and you don't know what you don't know you know that thing like fool me once shame on you fool me twice you know like once you know better you have to do better but if you don't know any better you can't beat yourself up for how people treated you and you didn't say anything because that was the old you your price went back up like you you're now standing on that standard now let's say that same person let's say we go back into Prada and they suddenly remember who they are 
and Prada's like, I'm gonna give you this bag for one million. You can either take it or leave it, cause I know, I know, I deserve to sell my bags at that price. Now you're like, oh, I don't have the funds. Like I literally have to go. I don't have the funds. Like I have to leave. And that's how people will be in your life. If they walk in and see you setting that standard, they're like, ooh, I don't like people holding me accountable. I'm gonna head out. Or I don't like people actually standing on business and setting their boundaries. I think I'm gonna go ahead and head out. The higher you hold yourself to that standard, you will literally weed out the people that don't need to be in your life and ultimately just wanna suck you dry of everything you're worth. Like literally, that's how you get rid of the vampires in your life. You literally just, stand on your business you hold yourself up and you say no i won't today like i won't be putting up with that they'll be shocked but you you'll be thriving that's all that's all that matters people will be like oh like she's always free i'll just hang out with her whenever because you make yourself so available you're so available you're so accessible you don't have to be that way if you're genuinely free and you want to hang out with people go ahead and do that but make sure your business is taken care of first because then you'll feel better when you're with people. You'll feel like you have something to give. And it's not about you having anything to give for you to be worthy. Because let me tell you right now, you're worthy because you woke up this morning. And that's it. Like, you're worthy because you're breathing. You're worthy because you're here on this earth and God saw a plan for you to be here and now you're here. That's why you're worthy. So you don't have to look inward to find that. Like, you just have to know you are that. Because that's what God called you to be. You just are. But... If you're not walking accordingly, you will be treated less than. If you don't know your worth, you have to know it. Like, that's why you know your worth. Because you're worth a lot. That's why it's not saying... That's why the saying isn't, Oh, come up with your price and then, you know, discuss it later. No. You have to know. If you know it, you know it. When you know, you know. Type-ish. You'll also, not knowing your worth, you'll find yourself canceling on yourself just to be more open for other people you have to be there for yourself first at all times also if you're not valuing your space your time your energy nobody else is going to value it because like i said you're setting your worth and what we deem worthy we also deem valuable so if you're not valuing those things like let's say you always have a messy room or a messy car like i've <laughs> i i've had that both of them. I struggle with keeping my stuff organized. But when people see how you treat your things, they will also treat your things in that way. So let's say you're driving and you and your friends are in the car and you're just driving, 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 and your car's a little messy. It's trash in the in the car, it's stuff everywhere. You guys go to McDonald's, everybody eats, everyone has their little to-go baggies, everyone has their own little cups. And everyone sees that you just leave your trash in your car. So they're like, why shouldn't I leave my trash in her car? If your place is messy and people come over and you guys get stuff or you guys are like having fun, whatever, and you find your place looking a mess, but everyone's like, I'm just going to leave my trash out because I know that she does. Or if you don't say anything, let's say you do like your stuff really clean and people just have blatant disrespect for your things. And they're like, oh, I know she'll just clean it up. Like, she always does. Like, she won't even say anything. No. Because then I found myself in situations where I'm now feeling resentful. And now I'm upset because I'm now having to pick up the slack and do this and that. And we don't want that. We need we need to set those clear boundaries. Set those clear, clear expectations that we have because you are allowed to feel that way and feel how you feel. And if you feel that way, there's a good reason. You need to also, that's another way that you can let people know your price went back up. Let people know that, mm, I'm not playing that. That's like the quickest way is cleaning and organizing. And if people are going to be around you, they need to follow suit because that's just what it's going to have to take. We need to have standards in 2024 and 2025 and the years to follow because we're not doing that anymore at all. Some negative effects that can come into play with you not knowing your worth is you will, like I said, draw in toxic relationships. Toxic people will be more drawn to you because these are people that are not healthy and they do not want the best for you and they don't care what it takes to, for them to get where they want to go or be who they want to be or have the fun they want to have because 
that's all they think about 24 7 they're not going to be thinking is she going to be okay with this they're not going to consider your feelings at all especially if they know you're not going to say anything about it they're just going to assume and be like oh she'll be fine she'll be all right she's cool she's this she's that when the whole time it is hurting you but you have to you have to stand on business you can attract those people because initially you'll be like oh they didn't mean it the first time oh they didn't mean it the second time oh well now it's starting to look like they mean it but it's been so many times i can't say something now when in reality you can or you could just walk away and not say anything i'm a big fan of the block button like i will hit that button because you're not about to play with me on my phone that i paid the bill for <laughs> clock it you can also start to feel empty and lost just because you've been letting other people define your worth because the thing is when we don't know our worth we look externally for other people to tell us what it is like i said with prada you're like what what is it going to be today what is it what is it if you let other people define it long enough when you're alone in your room you're going to be like well what what do i want you've been pushing yourself off for so long, not having that one-on-one -on -one time with yourself, not spending time with yourself, you will feel empty and lost and confused when you do get that one-on-one -on -one time with yourself. Now it's like, okay, now like who am I without someone else telling me who I am? Now what do I do when there's no one else telling me what to do? Like, what do I want to do for me today? And you don't even know how to be there for yourself or soothe yourself or really like give yourself that insight that you need because you've been looking for it from everyone else and really sometimes what it just takes is a hard look in the mirror and saying girl i got you and going about your day because sometimes that's all you have is you in the mirror and there's nothing wrong with that but you have to learn to be comfortable not knowing your worth can also cause um depression and anxiety usually um like i said from being by yourself and then not knowing who you are anymore can cause a lot of anxiety and anxiety can oftentimes lead to depression or vice versa they kind of intertwine i've struggled with both um honestly i didn't struggle with depression until probably like three years ago was when i first like encountered it but anxiety has always been something that i feel like i've kind of struggled with but just now been kind of feeling freer from and if you guys want a video on that let me know but um yeah you kind of just have to stand on business stand on your stand on your stuff and then also like i said just be your own best friend like be your own confidant if you don't have one that's like healthy like be that for you and even if you do have those healthy friendships don't you don't want to be codependent like be who you need yourself to be so that when you're with other people it's addition and you're not just like looking around for help or like you know what i mean we're getting we're getting what i'm putting down you also like won't accept the bare minimum like someone will do something for you like let's say you're on a date and the guy opens the door for you that's not that's not for us to be like oh my gosh can you open the door now i have to stay with him forever like no men are supposed to open doors that's their job or let's say you have a friend and they remember your birthday I mean, it's really nice. Like, like I'm not saying these things aren't nice, but don't think that just because someone's doing that, that you'll never find a better friendship. Like, if someone's doing that, but also disrespecting you in the same breath, the guy could be opening the door for you and be like, go in. And then it's like, oh, but he did open the door. No, that's the bare minimum. Let's say your friend did remember your birthday, but she's also saying you have birthday makeup and you look a mess that's the bare minimum we don't want to accept that so the ultimate solution to these things are if you're looking for your worth and anything outside of god honestly you will find yourself mistaken and sad and bitter because this world will tell you that you're only worth something if you're like pretty if you're adding value if you're doing this or that or whatever you're smart whatever but then on the same flip side of that, they'll tell you you're only pretty, you're only smart, you're only this, and then they'll put labels on you. And if you're not setting your own worth for yourself and people are setting it for you, you're letting the world decide it for you other than just going to God and letting him tell you what you're worth, which is a lot, by the way, you'll always feel like you're not getting what you deserve because we were really only put here to be defined by God. So if you're looking for anything outside of God to define you, 
you will never feel like enough honestly like once you know your worth in god you can use like the affirmations that god literally says in the bible and tell yourself those things until at least you feel it and you believe it if you pray to god for that for that confidence or for that um to just put your foot down like he will like don't think that just because like if you're a christian girly don't think that you're supposed to just let people walk all over you because jesus was flipping tables about his dad like what like don't like clock it like jesus was not on this earth getting walked all over and we should never ever be getting walked all over because we have authority so yeah just remember remember that remember remember who you are remember whose you are so some affirmations that i wrote down for us um from the bible right out the bible actually hot hot out the oven there's obviously the first one psalms 139 14 because we are fearfully and wonderfully made if you ever feel insecure or you're feeling like um unworthy and you look in the mirror and you're like no but i was fearfully and wonderfully made and i am that girl and this this and this then it's like you really can stand on that like you can literally stand on that word y'all y'all out here standing on business i'm trying to stand on the word amen and then in proverbs 3 15 god said my worth was more than rubies <laughs> so why would i let a crusty dusty man tell me what i'm worth like clock it and go sit down immediately because you're making yourself look bad in isaiah 43 4 it says that we are precious and honored in his eyes so at the end of the day if that doesn't paint the picture of how valuable god sees you if that doesn't paint the picture of how valuable god views you and how he created you to walk around feeling about yourself i don't know what will honestly at the end of the day i don't i do hope that this video helped let me know if you guys want to see any specific other type of videos there are more coming very very soon to theaters near you and i'm honestly very excited to get back into it um don't don't find yourself half off don't find yourself on sale you better you better go out there walk around this world and tell people that you know you're worth more than a million so if they're coming with anything less than they better clock it yes ma'am but yeah without further ado we're gonna close this video out it was so good talking to you guys remember you were fearfully and wonderfully made and you are that girl you are that man you are whoever god says you are so walk out here with your head held high and know that you are quite literally god's most prized possession and you are beautiful and worth every good thing coming to you Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!